I've done four colonies now. I'd say I started at around one o'clock and it is currently 157. So it took me an, took me an hour to pin test, uh, confirm queens, might wash, and find a frame to do a harbor assay on four colonies. So you're aggravated with me now. So you kind of want the same criteria for the pin test as well. You want the pupa to be seven to 12 days, pink eye, purple eye stage. I don't think this one has enough of what I'm looking for on it. I'm gonna put this box back together. It would kind of suck if the one that I need is the one that I just put in the box for the heart. They are losing their patience with this little investigation. Yeah, these, uh, this section here looks good for testing. This is going to be 4.8 though. I'm going to take the tool and I'm going to locate where I can get as much brood as possible in the sample. And then I'm going to mark it. interesting it seems the 5.1 is a better fit I'm gonna press that down in there I'm gonna get a marking pen here I'm gonna mark around the outside of it You can see that, if that's marked, then I'm going to pull it out, set it off to the side, and you can see where the pins have been entered into the pupa. I'm going to stop this, and then I'm going to take a picture of it so I have a time of this at zero hours. Okay. I wore a baseball cap, and I normally wear a bandana, and I am pouring sweat, and I'm regretting that I didn't wear a bandana. Anyway... I've done four colonies now. I'd say I started at around one o'clock and it is currently 157. So it took me an, took me an hour to pin test, uh, confirm queens, might wash, and find a frame to do a harbor assay on four colonies. So just about an hour. And so far, I will say that um, things are as I expected. Uh, I am waiting to be surprised, however. Maybe not waiting to be surprised, but waiting to be disappointed. This one, as I had stated a little bit earlier, was a little bit higher, and they also had a lot less brood, but it went from four mites in the count on the 5th and to seven mites in the count on the 30th, and they are definitely reducing the brood nests um, as we approach fall here. This one washed three. This one washed three which is actually a reduction from the previous mite count and uh, that one is an increase but from zero to three i ain't mad at that this county here um i don't know what to make of it it uh is very hygienic they do have plenty of brood down in this bottom box queen looks good they are 
friendly, if you will. June, July, washed zero. August 5th, washed zero. And now, August 29th. What did I do with the wash cup? That's hilarious. Oh, there it is. Typical James move. It's gonna evaluate these ones and see what they are. One, two, I could see three, four. I could see four. One, two, three, four. I see four mites in the wash. Lots of bees, lots of resources, lots of hygienic activity. There's a lot of open brood in here. There are a few frames of capped brood. Uh, again, I did a pin test and pulled a frame for a Harbo. And uh, that is Red 76, I believe, which was a Harbo 4 last year. Yeah, Red 76. Um, that is from my own stock that I identified just from queens and requeening from my own, my own stuff and survivors. So I will verify the mite wash and mark it down. I guess I need a new piece of tape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six mites in this one. And those six mites belong to this one. So that one went from three to six inside of a month. So that's double. It also is a reduction in brood production as well. But all the brood that's in there is pretty young. None of it's old enough to really give me a confident... Uh, amount to do an assay with so i'll pour these out i'll save you the trouble and i'm gonna take a look and see if the queen's in there the last colony i'm getting ready to open up right now is one of the queens that i grafted off this year and the last wash was also august 6th and it was zeros I did a second wash on another box just to get cross-reference, and that was a one. So we will see what a month tells us.